Hi guys, Melanie Gray from Fourth Street Creative here and today I'm going to be talking about my five favorite tools to use with Instagram. So these tools not only create better posts for me, but they also help to streamline my process. And I don't know about you, but I like anything that will give me my time back. Let's jump right in. And just to clarify, the reason why you want your grid to look good as a realtor is because when people land on your profile, you want them to be able to make that snap decision that they're gonna make in three seconds or less. They, you want them to say, yes, I wanna follow you. And in order for that to happen, you need to be telling a very cohesive, clear story through the imagery in your grid. So you wanna to showcase to them how you're going to help them sell their home. And you're gonna help them sell their home because you're awesome at marketing and you're awesome at making things look good. And if you can't make your grid look good, how the heck are you gonna sell their house and make that look good? You have to be able to showcase who you are and what you do and your grid on Instagram is important because of that. The number one tool that I use every day, favorite favorite, is Unsplash. So when you land on Unsplash, Un Unsplash is a royalty-free photo platform, photo library. Yeah, photo library. Let's call it a photo library. And you can use these photos free of charge, royalty-free in any and all of your marketing. So the reason why Unsplash is superior to other photo libraries online, in my opinion, is because you have a higher level of photos the amount of different photos for different brand types is so large. So I'm gonna just type in, if you know your, your brand style, so let's say my brand style, Moody Vintage, I'm going to type that in and I'm gonna see these photos that I can easily use on my grid. And I'm gonna save that, let me just move this over, I'm gonna save that to a collection. I'm gonna create a new collection and save it and then I'm gonna download the app on my phone. And once I've downloaded that app on my phone, now I have this collection of imagery that suits my brand perfectly. Now, if you don't know your brand style, head over to instastylequiz.com, and that is my three minute quiz. It is amazing. You are going to get a 12 page guide that clearly outlines what your brand style is. So instastylequiz.com, that will get you started in knowing what direction to head into when you're choosing your imagery. Because often what we do is we choose imagery that we like, but might not necessarily be on brand. So now is the time to start getting familiar with what imagery paints the picture of your brand so that when your potential clients land on your profile, they can see clearly that you are for them because you've painted a very cohesive photo. A photo a very cohesive grid for them so let's just say that you're more you know modern minimal so gonna type that in or you can just type in minimal too especially if you're looking for decor images and then you can take a look at these images and you can see that they're so they're so much better than the average you know photos of couples holding hands getting a key to their new house it's just more unexpected and it helps people differentiate you from the rest so you can head into unsplash and just search any brand style and you have got this thousands and thousands and thousands of photos to choose from to elevate your Instagram experience. So when would you use these photos? You're gonna use these photos as stock imagery. So if you have something to communicate, you can search uh, Unsplash for that particular topic and you can use the photo as is. Or you can edit the photo in places like Lightroom or even bring it into Canva and add text over that photo. And this just adds to the overall imagery in your grid. So Unsplash, definitely number one. Number two is InShot. So when you're creating reels or any kind of video for Instagram, I don't know about you, but when I'm in Instagram trying to edit my videos on the platform, especially with reels, I get super overwhelmed and confused and I just give up. So I found InShot and InShot is the best. InShot is the most user-friendly video editor that you will ever find. And what's beautiful about it is that you can download it on your phone. You record your reels in Instagram, if you'd like, or outside of Instagram. You edit them in InShot, which is so much easier. And then you bring them back into Instagram and you add your text and your overlays and your music and all that jazz that you want to add to it. It just makes the process so much easier. So just to give you an idea, it used to take me like an hour and a half to edit down a 30 second reel. People who edit reels, you know what I'm talking about. And now ever since I started using InShot, 
I've been able to whittle down that process to about 20 minutes. So now it takes me 20 minutes to edit one of my reels for Instagram because of the beauty of InShot. So next is Preview. Preview is an app that you can download on your phone. It's free to use. There's a pro version as well, but you can totally get by using the free version. And what you can do with Preview is you import, let's say you design all your posts for the week. You've done your Canva posts and you have pictures that you wanna share. You have all those, you import them into Preview. And as you can see here, you're gonna be able to move them around so you get to make your grid look the way you want it to look before you post to Instagram. So why is this great? Because you get to make sure that everything looks beautiful and cohesive and, and like you want it, like you're imagining, imagining it in your mind. You can make sure that that's the way it's going to end up looking on Instagram. Because once you post on Instagram, you know you can't move those squares around. This is a great way to make sure that you're not using too much of one brand color, too little of another. It just really helps you take that step back and take a look at how your post for the week will look. And then the second last one is Lightroom. Lightroom, again, let me move this over. You're not seeing the full effect. Where can I put myself? Let me make myself smaller. How's that? That should be good. Again, is free to download and use. There is a pro version. Isn't there always a pro version? But you can totally get by with the free version. And what I absolutely love about Lightroom over other photo editing apps is how, number one, how easy it is to use, but number two, this right here, the intuitive photo editor for professional results, this could not be closer to the truth. You will get professional results using Lightroom. This is what differentiates it from other apps. Other apps could be great and they might be easier to use and you might be able to push one button and get that filtered effect, but you have so much control in Lightroom that it's worth the 20 minutes it's gonna take you to learn the platform to be able to make your photos look that much more on brand. My number one favorite thing that you can do with Lightroom is to create presets. And presets are a group of predefined adjustments to your photos. And once you have that like you've done it for one and you really like it. Let's say I've made all these adjustments and I've made it look like this photo here, which is totally on brand for me. It's a little bit moody and edgy. Then what I would do is I would save that group of adjustments that I've made and that's called a preset. Now, every time I bring a photo into Lightroom, I can then apply that preset to the photo to create a similar look. Now I might need to make a few tweaks, but I'm like 80% there. That's what presets do, they save you time. So you bring your photo in, you apply the preset, it looks almost completely perfect on brand, you make a few tweaks, you post it to Instagram. Time saving and elevating. I love apps that can do those two things. And last but not least is templates. Templates are a time saver and they're, they help you to create a very specific look on your grid. So. I like to use templates that are on brand. So I've created my own templates in Canva and then I just reuse them over and over again, just making slight adjustments. What you can do if you're not a designer or you get frustrated designing things in Canva is you can find templates that are on brand and then you can uh, change the fonts, the colors and the imagery to really suit your needs. So the most important thing to look for when you're shopping for templates is to look for the layout. What layout or general look is on brand for you? A lot of people tend to look at the templates and they look at the colors and they look at the images that the designers have chosen and they're like, oh, I like that, let me use that. But the problem with doing that is that you tend to like something but it's not necessarily on brand. So if you just look at the general layout, you know you can change the colors, you can change the fonts, you can change the imagery. So does the layout work with the result that you want? And the result that you want might be, I want to be able to, to showcase this listing effectively. Well, is this layout going to help you do that? And if the answer is yes, you can change everything else about it. So always focus on the layout. If you want um, to shop by brand style, you can head over to shopforstreetcreative.com and that is my personal template shop. And I have divided them, all the real estate templates into brand styles. So once you figure out your brand style, you can find templates that suit that brand style so you don't have to go hunting for them. And that is it, my friend. I hope that that was helpful. If I have missed anything, or if you have time-saving apps, you know I wanna hear about them because that is my favorite, favorite type of app. So please feel free to share in the comments below. 
and I'd be more than happy to hear from you. And that is it, my friends. I hope that you have a great day and as always, happy designing.